Okay. Guys, hope you can see me. Um, I was rushing doors quickly because my camera died. So it's been on charge for about an hour. So got a little bit of battery. Good news. Um, the turbo recirculation valve is upgraded. It's it's in. It's done. I'm gonna go show you now. Let's go. Can't wait. And there it is, installed. Um, yeah, it's the hardest part is trying to get the old one out. Um, once you've done that, it, it flies through basically, and it's easier to get back in, which is weird as well. It went in so easy, um, and also because the nipple is straight piece, it comes straight out. It's much better as well because you only got to fit around with a 90 degree bend so i'm it straight out like that and there's loads of pipe to get it on there and there we go and i've just cable tied the uh the boost controller out the way onto this arm here all right so there it is there because you don't want to touch any dry shafts and you don't want it getting too hot so that's it installed um, sorry if the video wasn't in-depth detail, um, it's very very awkward trying to get a video camera in there and record it all. So it's just a reverse and everything else now. Get your uh, dust shield back on. Goes back on there. It's a clip, there you go, see it sits in there. And it just pushes up and over, okay. Oh, you can't see it. There it is. So yeah, it sits in there and that clips in. Okay, and then that's clipped in. The shield back on. Stop the uh, crap getting on your belt. So uh, now what? Now what? Now what? Ah, that's it. Okay. So uh, let me go in depth for the tools you're going to need again. Okay, so these are tools you're going to need. You probably can get proper tools to do it. But I'm just showing you what you might have lying around your own garage or your own shed and these are the basic ones you can use so you're going to need a set of allen keys to be honest I didn't use them today but you might find them easier to get in there and then get a spanner on there and yeah undo it that way you're going to need one of these little didgeridoos this is a square one I, don't know, I can't remember the name of them you're going to need a few of these extensions if you've got a stubby short one that's good enough to get to the uh, the difficult bolt in the corner next to the drive shaft. You're gonna need a few spanners. You can see what size they are. The six and one fourth, I think that says. You're gonna need some pliers because you've got um to get the little clamps off to the hoses, the boost hoses, so you can just like clamp it. Maybe some snippers as well, because you might need to cable tie your uh, your boost controller to the side of your engine if you can't get the because you won't be able to get the bracket back on. It's quite hard. You may need a flathead screwdriver. Definitely some copper grease if you've got some to grease up the three bolts to go back in because it does make life easier. And you will need your torque wrench to undo your to undo your wheels. So yeah, there we go, it is now installed, and looking very shiny in there now. <laughs> I'm thinking actually of upgrading now the boost pipes. You can sort of see the turbo on the side there. See that black pipe there and the one above it? So the pipe here, and then the one above it there, and then the one over there. I'm thinking of just upgrading them to some blue ones. Now I know where the pipes are, and they seem easy enough to just get to, you just pull on them and they slide right off. So I might upgrade them next, um, I don't know how old those pipes are, and I don't really want to risk them splitting as well, so I'm just going to replace them. Now the car's off the road, I might as well do everything. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, you guys want to hear it, don't you? Oh, right. Well, I've already started it, and it makes no noise now. You know when you start your engine, you get that little whistling noise? Yeah, that's gone away. And when you rev it, you have no 
What's or any of that what do, 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 sound anymore? <laughs> so you get none of that. You might get it when you're driving, but you don't get it when you're revving, which is much better. So there's no whistling noise inside the cabin either, which is good. Um, I might just drive up my hill and up the road, just see what it sounds like. I know it's got dodgy drive shafts, but I'm only going up a hill and back down again. I'm not going on the main road, so I'll take you guys with me. Yep, so I've got my wheel back on now. I'm just going to set up my camera in my car. And then, uh, yeah, take you guys for a ride and see what the noise is, because it'd be the first time I heard it as well, driving it. So you get my reaction as well. So, gone out of breath. So, yeah, I'm just going to jack it down now and then start her up. All right, okay then, I'm inside the car now. So, uh, first start up. Oh Christ, don't look at my dashboard because uh, I've not uploaded the other two art attacks yet on the wrapping. So uh, there's a little teaser right there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you don't get no whistling noise now. So you don't get any of that now. So let me just set my camera up inside. Alright, I hope you guys can see, alright? I can't actually see the camera. Okay, no, it's cool, recording. Cool, right, I'm gonna drive up the road quickly then. Okay, so noises. 